10 mistakes you make when washing your face. You try to be diligent and wash your face each and every day. But could you be walking away from that sink with an even dirtier face? What's worse, some of the things you're probably doing during your daily face washing regimen could actually be hurting your skin. Keep watching to find out which mistakes to avoid and what you should be doing instead when it comes to your skin care. And be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to join us on the bright side. Number 10. Using products that aren't meant for your skin type. When it comes to skin care, the first thing you need to determine is your skin type. Is it normal, dry, oily, combination, or sensitive? This is really important because you have to understand what your skin needs from you in order to take care of it properly. For instance, if you have dry skin but you're using a product made for the oilier type, that cleanser is going to dry your face out even more. The same is true the other way around. Products for dry skin don't suppress sebum production like products for oily skin do. So someone with oily skin isn't going to get what they need for their skin type if they're using the wrong products. Be sure to read the labels of your skincare items and stick to the ones that are going to suit your specific type the best. Number 9. Not washing your hands before you wash your face. Most people start their skincare regimen by splashing water onto their face and rubbing it all over with their hands. The problem with this is that your hands are covered in bacteria that can make their way into your pores. I mean, just think of all the things you touch throughout the day. Doorknobs, light switches, money, your keyboard, phone screen. Oh, and the list goes on. That's why it's easy to understand how an average of 3,200 bacteria from different species accumulate on your hands. If you don't want those germs to spread to your face, wash your hands thoroughly with soap before you begin washing your face. Number 8. Washing your face with water of the wrong temperature. Now, it's up to you to choose the temperature of the water you use to wash your hands, but when it comes to your delicate facial skin, it's best to use lukewarm water. Despite the common belief that washing your face with hot water will help open up your pores so that it'll be easier for you to clean them, hot water will actually end up leaving your face red, blotchy, and irritated. It can even do permanent damage to your blood vessels if they burst due to the high temperature. Hot water can also strip your skin of its natural oils, damaging the protective outer layer. However, don't be so quick to jump to the other end of the spectrum and use ice cold water. Cold water doesn't do as good of a job when it comes to washing away all the dirt and buildup that can accumulate on your skin. Number 7. Not removing your makeup first. Use micellar water and a cotton ball to gently wipe the makeup from your face. It's best to spend 10 seconds on each eye. And don't rub too hard as the skin around the eye area is very delicate. Then find the perfect lukewarm water temperature and use your fingertips to ever so gently rub the facial cleanser into your skin using circular motions going outwards. This will help stimulate blood flow, keeping your skin looking younger longer. Using facial scrubs too frequently. We all want to have clean, clear, baby soft skin. So what do we assume that must involve? Well, that's right, scrubbing. Well, when it comes to facial cleansing, scrubbing can do more harm than good. Your face isn't a stovetop. You don't need to be so abrasive with it. Your skin is a smart organ, and it does a good job of exfoliating dead skin cells on its own, shedding about 35,000 of them each hour. Excessive scrubbing will only leave your skin irritated and inflamed and can even lead to premature aging. Another issue with scrubbing is that it removes the protective layer of your skin and can actually lead to more oiliness. To accommodate both the oily and drier parts of your face, it's best to find an exfoliant that can do both. Get rid of dead skin cells through friction and dissolve dead skin cells with the help of enzymes or acids. Exfoliate two to three times a week if you have normal or combination skin, 
and only once a week if you have dry or sensitive skin. Number five, drying your face with a towel. Wait, what? Everybody dries their face with a towel. Hold on now. Just imagine for a second how much bacteria can gather in a bathroom. Those nasty little suckers love nothing more than a moist environment, such as your towel. So even if you have a favorite towel dedicated especially to drying your face, you might want to reconsider using it at all. Not only can a towel be too harsh for the gentle skin of your face, especially if it's made from an abrasive material, but it can also just spread bacteria around and leave your face even dirtier than before you washed it. Instead of using a towel, use tissues, paper towels, or even toilet paper. Yep, you heard that correctly. Unless your toilet paper resembles the texture of a newspaper, ouch, it's probably quite soft. And the best part is that it's clean and sterile. Just be sure to use the side that's facing the inside of the toilet paper roll. And FYI, if you're doing this at home, and you probably are since you're washing your face, remember the importance of keeping the toilet seat down so that bacteria don't fly around the bathroom each time you flush. But if you happen to be in a public restroom, tear off the part that's hanging down and use the toilet paper that's hidden up in the dispenser. Number four, using a harsh toner. Now that your face is clean, dry, and bacteria-free, it's time for toner. It's important to choose a toner that doesn't have any harsh ingredients and one that's aimed at taking care of your particular skin type. For example, avoid any toners that contain alcohol since they'll leave your skin dehydrated and irritated. Even if you have oily skin, don't be tempted. Alcohol does dry out your skin, but that doesn't mean less oil. In fact, your skin will retaliate and overcompensate for the dryness and start pumping out even more sebum. Number three, skipping on the serum. Right after you've done wiping your face with a toner-soaked cotton ball, don't waste a second before getting to the essential part of skin care, moisturizing. Before you reach for your favorite face cream or lotion, apply a serum that's specifically designed for your skin type. Serums are almost magical when it comes to making your skin healthier. And that's because they offer highly concentrated doses of skin-boosting elements. Thanks to their lipid-soluble base that allows active ingredients to penetrate the epidermis, all this good stuff goes straight into your skin, letting you say goodbye to problems like premature aging, redness, dehydration, and even acne. Number two, forgetting about SPF. By now, your facial skin must be feeling like it's run a marathon and is in desperate need of some downtime. Well, what could be more relaxing than applying a smooth moisturizer? It's up to you to choose whether you want to use a moisturizer that has SPF in it or if you want to use SPF separately. Either way, protecting your skin from harmful UV rays is an absolute must. Even if problems like premature aging and hyperpigmentation don't scare you, then the threat of getting skin cancer should. UV rays can find your skin even if you can't find the sun, so make sure to never skip applying SPF. Number one, not paying attention to the ingredients in your skincare products. When it comes to which moisturizer to use, you should avoid those that contain oil and look for facial moisturizers that are non-comedogenic. This means that a product won't clog your pores. It'll also help to look for moisturizers that contain antioxidants, such as green tea, chamomile, pomegranate, or licorice root, as they'll help your skin be and look healthy. If you have sensitive skin, use a product that has less than 10 ingredients, is hypoallergenic, and fragrance-free. If you have dry skin, look for hyaluronic acid and dimethicone in the ingredients list, as well as glycerin, glycol, proteins, lanolin, mineral oil, and petrolatum. Now that your face is properly cleaned, toned, protected, and moisturized, you should be feeling like a million bucks. It's also important to remember that it takes your skin 28 days to renew itself. So if you start using these tips right away, don't expect results overnight. Also, if you're looking for a healthy glow from within, consider drinking more water and eating healthier foods. Cutting back on sugar, sodium, and anything deep fried is a great start. What's your skincare regimen like? Share some of your own tips in the comments below.
Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.